Hello again viewers and greetings fellow space travelers, this is Thorn of Night and welcome to a rainy episode 31 of my Terraria Let's Play series. I am in one of my, I guess, throwaway worlds because I want to go after the Queen Bee because I don't have the trophy or the mask and I would like to include those in my trophy room for the museum so that's where I am but also on today's agenda I am going to plan on hopping down into the dungeon which uh, let's see here is is that it yep that's it uh, off to the west uh, because I want to see what sorts of uh, locked chests there are so I can know what uh, key molds I should try to go after uh, but that's going to be after I uh, try to get the stuff from the queen bee which is just going to involve some digging and some uh, really quick combats nothing too serious there but I would like to get that out of the way so that's what I'm going to do so instead of boring you with all the digging and the searching and the fighting, I'm just going to go ahead and go after that. And once I get one or the other or both, I'll be right back to let you know. Okay, so I'm back in the main world because my inventory got full. And I decided I would offload some of the stuff. And I uh, was able to acquire one of the paintings I am missing. I believe it goes here. Rare Enchantment. Yes. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and fill that in, but I also, uh, have come to the conclusion that those little, uh, beehives, the, the hornet nests or whatever, don't spawn nearly as much now, or at least on the map that I made, uh, as they did on this map. Uh, let's see here on this one. Oh, that's right. I have to go down dive down the holes again on this one there were at least a half a dozen different uh, beehives but for some reason uh, they only spawned two of them on the new world so I'm going to have to make some a uh, bee minations uh, which I'm going to have to take care of here in just a little bit but first I need to uh, put that there, Let's see if I can, there we go, no, it was right the first time, no, no, stop it, there we go, okay, so fill this in, put those there, do this, There we go. And put those back. I really do need to uh, get some more of the... I think I used shade wood for this. Let's see here. Shade wood. I need to get a, a bunch more of that. So I can make these walkways uniform. But I need to make myself some... <coughs> excuse me. Some abominations. So let's put this back, put this back, and my torches go there. Now, I do know I'm going to need some stuff from it in, in here. I'll need some crispy honey blocks. I'll need just some regular honey blocks. I'll need some bottled honey. Uh, I'll need some hive. Uh, what else? I think I need stingers. Why am I going over here for stingers? Stingers. That's a worm tooth. It's an antlion mandible. Stingers. Some stingers and um, I really should have looked this up. Uh, 
obsidian maybe? Let's see if that works. And then I need to hop down to a uh, demon altar thing. Oops. Which conveniently, there's one right here. And let's get that in here so I know when things are happening. All right. So let's craft some abominations. One, two, three, four, five. Let's just do five for now. And see where that goes. And I'm going to go take care of the combat off camera because it really doesn't take long anyway. And if these aren't sufficient, I'll make some more. But either way, I'll be right back. Well, it turns out that that wasn't even nearly enough of the uh, abominations in order to get what I needed. So let's see how ten of them will fare. What's this? Poison dart? Oh, just craft it with a stinger. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Anyway, so let's make... Ten of them and see how that works. All right, I'm gonna go back to here. I walked all the way over there and uh, just decided to uh, clear out that light that back up uh, so I could get to that. Uh, I do have an idea uh, using teleporters, but that'll have to be uh, done probably a little later. But I'm going to go ahead and get back over there, do some fighting. And hopefully, oh no, hopefully I will be able to get some, uh, some sort of trophy and or mask reward from my troubles because uh, I have now crafted 15 abominations and I have killed, uh, I killed two on the other map. And I have not gotten either of them, and I thought that I was doing pretty good with the masks, getting them pretty much every single time I fought a boss, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So I'm going to have to do some more combat, and uh, I'll go ahead and take care of that, and then I'll be right back. There we go. It only took a total of, mm, let's see here, say 11 to 13 killings of the queen bee but now i have both the trophy and the bee mask so let's get back home and offload the stuff that i don't want to keep on me quick stack that this can go away so can this and this lots of honey lots more honey don't need those uh have the bee gun in there, All right? Uh, why not? I'll throw this bee shirt and bee pants in here, and that should be everything. I'll go ahead and put this in here too. It doesn't sell for anything anyway, so why not? So let's sell this. Bee gun, honeycomb, honeycomb, and honeycomb. Beekeeper, beekeeper. All right. Now I need a mannequin because I offloaded those. So let's get another mannequin. Where's my mouse? Go ahead and grab this. Take the shortcut. And where should I put the bee? Here looks good. So queen bee goes there. Ah, uh, I need a sign. All right. Put that. Nope, not there. Right here. And the bee, bee mask goes on it. That looks pretty neat. Let's get a sign for Queen Bee. 
scratch that off the to-do list. Uh, I thought for sure I put signs in here. Do I just keep putting them back in here? Yep, I do. Okay, whatever. Ignore that. That was my phone, if you could hear that. Alright, sign. Edit. No! <laughs> oh, I hate that. Seems like we were just doing this. That really is a neat dynamic, the the rope climbing pulley system thing. Right, let's try this again. Queen B. <sighs> All right. I know for sure I still need, uh, I can never remember, is it Retinazer that I already have? Yeah, I still need Spasmatism. But I don't know which two I'm missing. Uh, I don't know if the Pumpkin King counts as one or the Frost Queen for that matter. You know what? I'm going to go look up what I'm missing. I'll be right back. Okay, so I learned something. Uh, it's something interesting. The, uh, the two that I had in place were for the Pumpkin King and Morning Wood from the Pumpkin Moon. But since then, it, it, with the 122 update, uh, there are now three new trophies. The Ever Scream, the Ice Queen, and the Santa NK1. So... I'm definitely going to have to do those two events and, and hopefully get those trophies. Now, I don't know if each of those give masks or not, so I guess I should look that up too. But uh, what that means is I'm going to have to uh, expand this up by one. And just in case there's more additions, I'm going to leave enough space for more. But this is going to have to go up one more floor. Uh unfortunately, or fortunately, whatever. Uh, I really ought to start work on filling this in with my banner rooms. Uh, so I might go ahead and start tackling that. Uh, but I do for sure, just for completion's sake, today, my one of my goals is to get, or two of my goals, that I have left uh, are to get the Spasmatism Trophy and the Golem Mask, uh, which means I'm also going to have to go play in the Jungle Temple uh, on another map to get some more of those little energy cells so that I can uh, go after the Golem. So I'm going to go ahead and try to knock that one out. Uh, get some more of the energy cells, and uh, that'll give me an opportunity to test the vampire knives against the uh, the golem with my uh, gear and set up and, and have also the little pygmy and, or whatever he's called, what's that? Yeah, pygmy. Also, use the frost hydra and the magnet sphere and see how quickly I can take that guy out. So... I'm going to go get some more of those batteries, and I'll be right back. So something I just realized that uh, I didn't notice before when I was doing my previous offload, now, instead of using two silt per usage on the, the uh, oh, what's the thing called, extractinator, I think, uh, in, instead of using two on each usage, it only uses one, so... That's pretty cool. You can double the amount that you get uh, compared to before. Uh, which could help you if you're going after the rare pet, I suppose. But I did manage to, uh, while I was over in the other world, get some uh, of the power cells. They're not batteries, they're power cells. Alright. 
But I also found some, <clears throat> excuse me, some things called lizard furnaces. Uh, and it says used for special crafting. I don't know what special crafting yet. I, I've never heard of them before, so I'm going to have to probably look them up to see what I can do with those. But I got four of them inside the uh, temple over there. And I am going to now uh, go ahead and go after the golem up to 11 times because I have 11 uh, power cells. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to get not only the mask, but also uh, I still need to get the, uh, what's it called, pickaxe axe, or the, no, not the pickaxe axe, the, uh, oh, the, the other pickaxe thing, the thing that can dig the uh, temple stone. Uh, so I'm hopeful in being able to get that, but I don't know if I'll be able to or not. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and head over there and test out these vampire knives and see, uh, along with the magnet sphere and the frost hydra and my pygmies, uh, and see how well I can do against that. Uh, I don't think I'll probably ever again need to be going after chlorophyte bullets for them, which will be nice. But I'm going to go ahead and take care of that, and I'll be right back. Well, I accomplished one of my goals. I am now the proud owner of a... What's it called? What's it called? Pixaw. That's what it is. The Pixaw. So now I can actually harvest that stuff, which is awesome. But I'm not going to tear this one apart, I don't think. I think I'll, what I'll do is... Tear apart the one that's over on the other world so I can get the lizard stone from that. But uh, this makes me happy. Uh, also, while I'm here uh, going after the uh, the golem eye and the golem mask, which I still have not gotten, I don't think. Nope. I am going to go ahead and go after this right here and see about killing off another plantera so i'm going to take care of that and i'll be right back well i have exhausted my supply of energy cells and after 11 fights with the golem i got no mask no mask at all and i also didn't get a, a golem eye out of that situation either so no rifle scope yet or sniper scope or whatever it's called uh, but I did get a bunch of loot that I can sell, and I am happy that I got the pick saw. That's, that's nice. Uh, I am probably going to sell this, but another thing that I got... Let me go ahead and go back home. Another thing that I got are some, uh, beetle husks. A whole bunch of them. And the beetle husks are apparently for, uh, crafting, like, the, uh, the tougher version of the turtle scale stuff which I still don't even have enough turtle scales to uh, craft everything ooh increases number of max minions what's I wonder by how much hold on let me sell this stuff because I don't need these I uh, don't need the titan glove no 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 I don't believe I need that. Um, go ahead and put these in here. Something's going on. Quick stack the stinger missiles or whatever those are called. Stinger spears. Oh. know what? There we go. Alright, so I have a bunch of, of uh, beetle husks that I need to figure out what to do with. Uh, I would like to figure out where I put my turtle shells. 
I know I have some. There, there they are. Four. I have four of them. That's horrible. I need to get more of those. But uh, I did notice that in one of the uh, chests over on the other uh, world, there was a hollowed locked chest. So I'm going to go ahead and craft myself a hollowed key if I can remember how to do that. Uh, actually, I don't even think I need to remember. I think all I need to do is just grab a whole bunch of... Oh, I wonder if it takes souls of light. I don't know. Let's find out. Where's this? Uh, where'd the key go? There it is, and hollowed key mold. So what is recipe? That's fright, might, and sight. Okay, that's awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and craft this, and I'm going to head over to the other world since clearly I wasn't able to get all the stuff that I wanted from uh, this golem fight. And uh, I'm going to go see what's in that chest over there. So, I'll be back. Oh, uh, I also don't need this. Pickaxe axe. So, how much do I have on me? Three platinum since last time I... Don't! Oh, no! I meant to click on qu quick stack. Oh, well, I'll sort this out. Uh, I'm going over to the other world. I'll be back. All right, uh, real quickly, since he just arrived, I'm going to get something from the traveling merchant. It's not anything I'll use all that often, but uh, it does look kind of cool. 20% uh, reduction in ammo usage for 15 gold. It is an ammo box, and it can just be placed in the world and it reduces your ammo usage, apparently. Uh, it doesn't seem to be an item that you can equip. Nope, it's just something that you place and reduces your ammo usage. So that's kind of cool. Uh, he's got a couple other things. Let me in. Wee! Forgot about that. Uh, a gee, some decorative stuff that... Uh, the, the pad tie that does a, the same thing as the pumpkin pie only for much lower duration. The decorative stuff, anyway. Um, I don't know everything that the traveling merchant can sell, but I'm going to definitely keep an eye out for him, uh, because there are some neat things... I have seen in the past that I just didn't want to get that I, I I want to see if I can get my hands on them now. But anyway, I'm off to the other world again, and uh, I'll hopefully uh, be able to uh, find where I left the uh, locked chest to go with this hallowed key. And when I get there, I will let you guys see what's in it. So I'll be right back. All right, I finally found where I left the hallowed chest. Um, the way I have this set up is you can see these 12 torches here. I have them here. Let's see here. Here, there's a jungle chest. There's a frozen chest there and somewhere else. Aha! Is a corruption chest. And I don't have a corruption key mold, so I'm going to have to get myself one of those before I uh, disassemble everything and move on from this world. But let's go ahead and see what's in here. In this. Oh, I also just got this thing called a bone welder. I don't know what it does yet, but I'm going to find out, I'm sure. But what's this? A rainbow gun. Oh, that's weird. Whoa. 51 magic damage. Shoots a rainbow that does continuous damage? Oh! Continuous damage. Uh... 
I'm going to have to devise some way to work with this because I wonder if I can... Okay, so it's just one shot per, but I can switch away from it and also do that to do additional damage. Neat! So there's something. So now I've got the hollowed chest and uh, I guess I have to take everything out of it before I do that. Now I actually have the chest itself. So let's get these torches out of here. Uh, do I have a... No, I don't. So now... My dilemma is, do I make another world and try to get some more of those energy cells? Or do I temporarily halt that and work towards one of my other things on the to-do list? I, I don't know yet, but uh, I am going to go back to the main world and also I'm going to see what this bone welder does. So, after I figure that stuff out, I will be right back. Okay, so I figured out what the uh, uh, bone welder does. It is a, a new crafting device for bone, particularly. Um, let me go ahead and make a little extension here and put this guy down. Oh, that's kind of big. And put the spare in here. Don't need the bone wand anymore. Uh, also, I'm going to go ahead and store the Skeletron hand and the eater's bone in here. Uh, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to put that there. This is... Oh! That's the pet! Okay. Alright, so let's see here. What can I make with this? I can make... Let's see here. I have the bone door. I have the chair. I have the workbench. I have the table. Okay, I need the bathtub. Which... That's just... Weird. That's cool looking, but that's weird. Uh, I'll need to place some more of these down. I'm sure. What else have we got? Bone candelabra, bone lamp. Let's put the bone lamp. Hmm. Close this off. See here, put the bone lamp there. No. No. How big is this? Oh. Oh my. Okay. Okay, you're getting annoying. Go away. Uh, where'd it go? Bone lamp. And let's see here. Bone chandelier. I think. Uh, what am I missing? How do you make chandelier? I need chains to make a chandelier. That's right. Uh, in here? Yep. Go back up. Alright, now I've got that. Bone chandelier. Okay. Um... I guess I could put that there. And... Huh. Let's see here. <clears throat> I need... I need a second floor for this, I think. Because I, I still need to make a bookcase and a bed. Let's get some books. And let's get some silk. We. Go 
go back over here. Oh, I can just come out the top. All right. So there's the bed. No. Eh. Where'd it go? No, I did it again. I know how to fix this. Put a dirt right there. There we go. There's that. And then I can use this as the way up. And now I need a bookcase. And the bookcase can go right there. Now I'll put it here. There we go. Now I don't need all those there. And I can just put a couple platforms right here. And then the chandelier can go in this area. I hope. There we go. And now I just need to make some bone wall. Or do I have, no, I don't even have close to plenty. But I can go ahead and use up what I've got. And then the bone showcase will be done. Yeah. Bone wall. Huh. How do we make the bone wall? I'll be right back. I thought I was doing something wrong. As it turns out, I was fine. Uh, apparently, the bone block wall, which is crafted by using bones, which I have plenty of, <coughs> excuse me, at a workbench, any workbench, like for instance the one I'm standing on, uh, is supposed to make four bone block wall. And all I've got are stone, dirt, mud, mudstone, gray brick wall, and that's it. No, no bone brick wall. So I don't know what's going on. But I suspect that there will be a minor update in the future uh, regarding including that recipe. Because clearly, the block still exists. I was able to place a whole bunch of it, and I had it still in my inventory here. So I don't know what the deal with that is. But uh, if I come up here, there is one more thing that I need to craft and that is, is this bone candelabra so let's see what this looks like but I'm gonna place it between that and that uh, or that and another one of those there we go a bone candelabra and the reason why I'm placing these there we go is because I want to go ahead and display the skull and the ancient necro helmet because they seem fitting in here so that is the bone stuff for now until I can figure out what I want to do about the uh, bone block wall not being in here which is a bummer because I, I wanted to have this a complete building which I guess I can't right now Wait, what oh wow bones can stack to more than 99 that's awesome so I guess I'll have to wait for an update for that but uh let's see here hallowed chest 
Didn't I have a... No, that's not hallowed. That's the sky stuff. No, that's the sky stuff. The other one was sand and glass. Oh, I don't have a structure for hallowed things. Let me just double check, make sure I'm right. That's the silver gear. Huh. What was this? Platinum. Okay, so I'm going to need to make a hallowed setup. Oh, of course. Because there's the hallowed mask right there. Okay. That's fine. Well, then I'll just set this right here as a reminder. Okay, then. And uh, you can go... No, I want to test you out. So you can stay there. But I guess I'm going to have to work on the rest of the stuff in another episode because it looks like it's gotten to about the half hour mark. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Or if you have a question for me directly, uh, feel free to message me on Twitter at Thorn of Night, and I'll do my best to uh, get back to you as quick as possible. There we go. That's a lot fewer things. Uh, but uh, if you like this video and you like what I'm doing here, please feel free to give a like. I do appreciate that. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe so you know when my future stuff comes out. But I'm going to go get busy on another project and probably go get some more Souls of Flight and Souls of Light between episodes because I do still need to work on completing all the wing stuff. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up here. Thank you once again for watching. This is Thorn of Night, and I will talk to you later.